the piece I entered is called Crumbling. And uh, I made it in 2014 after seeing an interesting piece in a pottery show that had been with, done with strips of porcelain mounted on a base, making a wave pattern. And I got to thinking about it, thinking, wow, what would that be like in fabric? And so I thought felt, I really would love to do it in felt. And I started, and if you look at the piece, I started in the upper left-hand corner with felt, stitching it down to a substrate and soon realized I did not even have a beginning to be enough colors of felt. And then I, so I just started going through my stash. And as it began to emerge, I saw the cliffs at Sea Ranch, which is in Northern California, where I used to live. And um, those cliffs are crumbling all along the Northern California coast. There are houses that have even fallen into the water. And those striations come down to the beach and the pieces are tumbled by the waves. And there are areas where the entire beach is just smooth beach stones. And so I thought to myself, for us, I, well, I don't live there anymore, but that is such a reality on the Northern California coast that it's going. And of course it's reality all over the world as the water encroaches and the land goes back to the water. And so that is why, why it sort of emerged from not thinking about earth and became something about the earth. I rarely stick to the, I, I start out and if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the piece, it's much more subtle. And then I just can't stand it. And I have to start <laughs> adding other color. And the stones, uh, when we first moved there, I had my husband take a picture of the stones on the beach because I said, that's the palette I want to use in the house that we were building. And they were, they were, they're closer to what the real palette is. The soft grays, the whites, the ochres. Uh, and I sort of, amped that up just because I like a lot of color. Now, interestingly, when you move, when we moved to Arizona, that color is here in the earth. That's interesting because my husband would tell you that I'm simply not a nature girl. Uh, I like the, I like the movies, the museums, the cities, the inside, but nature gives you so much richness and so much texture and so much just interesting shape and form. And whether you go very, very tiny, which some of my pieces are, or you go, you step way back and do a landscape, they are always interesting. So for me, it's not loving the earth or, I mean, not that, you know, I'm an environmentalist, but it's more about what I see. And when you look at my work, there's not a message really in it. I'm more interested in color and texture and form, and uh, you won't see any hidden things. It is what it is. One of the things I have said about this when people have asked me about it is that I am, uh, as so many of us are, an addict to fabric, and I have so much fabric. And this allowed me to use all kinds of things that I, like the felt. I don't normally work in felt. I do use uh, silks, but not exclusively. But when I'm piecing a piece like this behind me and I'm working with silk, I'm fighting those raw straggly edges. But in this, I, ah, the more, hit, and it sheds a lot. And the more, the better, as far as I'm concerned, because that's one of the interesting, uh, to me, one of the interesting properties of fabric is what it does when you're not laying it flat. And, and that's what I liked about it. Now, the pebbles were a real challenge because this was, I made this in June of 2014. And at that point, I'd never seen any pieces with pebbles on them. And I knew I wanted that I collected pebbles from my travels all over the world. I go to any body of water, I pick one up and put it in my pocket and bring it home. And now I have a whole bowl full and I have no idea where they're from. But um, so I did a lot of trial and error to try to figure out how to do it. 
and finally came up with, I started with dyeing um, jersey, rayon jersey, to get the stretchiness that I wanted to wrap around the piece of mat board with batting. And I finally got it down and it took me about a week and a half to make all the pebbles. And I picked up Quilting Arts Magazine and there's an article on how to make pebbles. And I'm like, well, shoot. <laughs> So I want to go on record as saying, I made them before I read that article. <laughs> it took me an entire month of working six to eight hours a day, which is much longer than I've ever spent on another piece. But I was uh, driven. Once I began these vertical striations, I just had to put another and another and another and another. And by the time you get partway through, it's not easy because it's heavy and you're trying, and it's all done by machine. Well, the pebbles are stitched on by hand, but all the striations you see are done by machine. And to stitch a row and flip that over and butt the bottom raw edge of the next strip up against it, you're stitching as close because I didn't want to see any background. I wanted it dense and thick like a cliff. And um, it was very time consuming and very rewarding. And I had to do PT for my shoulder afterwards.